Thank you to Warzone Mobile for sponsoring this video. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Exotic Gaming. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another Warzone Mobile video. In today's video, what I wanted to do was actually check out one of the many different bundles this game has. I thought this was freaking awesome. I think it's in the Blueprints tab. It's this one right here. I am a massive foodie. I go to all sorts of different restaurants. I even take pictures and post reviews on Google, right? I am one of those types of people, and I love the Korean and Japanese and Chinese fried chicken places. I am in love with that type of stuff. Karaji chicken is awesome, and they literally have a Karaji chicken skin in the Wagyu bundle in Warzone Mobile, and I thought it was freaking awesome. I want to download it. I want to buy it, I should say, not download it, but this is for the MCW assault rifle and then for the um, the striker. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to do this in multiplayer. I am no way in heck going to try to do this in a full-on Battle Royale match because I'm not good enough yet, <laughs> but I got myself my Karaji's chicken skin. That's freaking awesome. And then my SMG for the striker, I got the Sumibi skin? I don't know. And we're going to check out some Shoot the Ship. Hopefully, it should be good. Let's go see what this skin is about. Now, since this video is sponsored by Wars on Mobile, I do want to say, if you want to download the game for yourself, for both iOS or Android, it's available anywhere around the world. You can scan the QR code that is on the screen right now. Scan it. If you happen to be watching this on a computer or a different you know, tablet or something like that, or uh, what you can also do is you can go down below at the top of the description. I have a download link for Warzone Mobile right there. You can click on that, download it. I highly recommend trying it out. Maybe you can get the skin that I have. And uh, yeah, let's freaking do this thing. Let's go jump into a shoot the ship map. So what we're going to do is we are going to jump into a match in Hardpoint Shipment. Oh my God, this is going to be bad. Well, you know what? It's fine. It's whatever. Look at how good this gun looks. Oh my God. I want to inspect it. Let me inspect it, please. The buttons appear like a few seconds before. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, baby. Look at this. It's the Wagyu bundle. It's called the Wagyu bundle, right? And I got my Karaji chicken skin and this other SMG. I forgot what this one is called. It's called like Shimubu. Oh my God, the box. Oh my God, you died. I'm so sorry. Hello. Okay. Oh my God, I died. Now I do want to say before things get a little bit too chaotic, I apologize if my gameplay is not very good. I am not going to sugarcoat it and, and tell you that, like, I am a pro player because I am not, okay? But that's the beauty of this game. This is one of those games that you can just play more casually, and, and it doesn't really matter. So I'm a very casual player in Warzone Mobile. I die a heck of a lot of times. If I try to play in Battle Royale, I'll get to, like, you know, 20th place, maybe, at best, on an average game, right? And that's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. So if you're somebody who sits there and you're all stressed, you don't know if you should play Warzone Mobile because it's a little bit too too tough. You feel like people might make fun of you on your team because, oh, you're not a pro like them. No, they're not going to do that. First off, you can just turn off voice chat if you want. But secondly, it doesn't matter. This game is for everybody. It's for the casuals and the pros alike. And I am living and breathing example of that. So, yes. Shout out to all the noobs like me. I got you. Exotic Gaming is a noob just like you who has no idea what he is doing. He runs back into the bullets that were trying to shoot him. And that's just an average day for Exotic Gaming. Hopefully we can jump into Shoot House after that. Oh, are you kidding me right now? Really? The second, the second I finish reviving myself, then you kill me? It's like all these people, they always give you like a chance. They make you feel like you know what you, you know, you're going to have a chance of success. And then it's like, no. Sorry, that's just not how it is. That just ain't how it's gonna be. I like this SMG, though. Feels really nice. The Striker is actually really good. I I think this might be my favorite SMG in Warzone Mobile. Maybe that Wasp one. It's called, like, the Wasp Swarm or something like that. I think that might potentially be a little bit more of my favorite just because it has a faster firing rate and stuff like that. But I don't know. Oh, no! Please. Is he going to come out? Yes, he is. <laughs> I knew it. It's this thing. Well, let me just pick it up real quick and show you. I think I might like this one a little bit more. Didn't get a chance to show you. Sorry about that. I apologize. But <sighs> let's go get my hopes up for no reason. Self-revive and then immediately die right afterward. Are you kidding me? Did I actually survive? 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at me go. I'm actually doing something. I'm actually doing something. Right! There's another person! You're stuck! Get out of the way! No, there's another person too! Oh god dang it. Why did the game have to put me into shipment, man? I wanted to do a nice... A nice casual commentary and then it puts me into the most chaotic map in the entirety of Warzone Mobile! In the entirety of Call of Duty history. I don't even think there's a more chaotic map than this. Is there? Can you let me know in the comments if there is? Because I don't think there is. I don't think there is. I really like these graphics, though. I'm not even on, like, the craziest graphic settings that some iPad players have, but this is high graphics, and it looks really good. Like, they have so much improved the graphics here in Warzone Mobile. It's wild to me. Like, you should really look at what gameplay looked like back in, you know, about a year ago and compare it to this. This game has come such a long way. Very, very long way. And this global version of the game, for both iOS and Android, is performing so well. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. <laughs> no! I blew up! I didn't have a chance. I was reviving and I was just hoping that that grenade wouldn't kill me. It's fine, though. It's fine. Again, as I said, you know, this is one of those games you have to just play with a more open mindset. Especially with something like that. What even just happened? I don't even know what just happened there. Here's something that I actually would recommend people who are watching this should do. Um, if you're somebody who always likes to grind mobile games and you, you want to be a pro in every game that you play, to me personally, I feel like that would really burn burn me out and that probably would do the same for you. So uh, since this is the beginning of Wars on Mobile and you don't really have to worry about ranks right now because the game just started, I think every single person should try to play this game just more casually and fun. Just legitimately only do the things that are fun for them in the game. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm gonna get blown up. Stop it. But like, play it a little bit more casually and just see how you like it. Because you might actually end up liking it more like that. And then you're gonna have a way more enjoyable experience with a game like this overall. I'm kind of going to be doing that myself, I think. I'm not going to sit there and try and, like, rank up and do battle royale match after battle royale match with the same optimal loadout every single time because I just, I don't really like something like that. I like to have more variety, play in all sorts of different maps, use all different types of weapons, just have a crazy different, crazy different amount of gameplay experiences all the time. And it's cool. It's cool like that. Um... You know, another cool thing about this is this is kind of like a, a sneak peek of the exotic gaming live streams. I've started to actually do live streams, and Warzone Mobile was the very first game that I did a live stream on in I, over four years or something like that. So, can you not kill me, please? Thank you. Appreciate it. I, you listened so well. You listened very, very well. What a nice person. Look at this guy. And then this other guy right here. Dude, I've gotten so many kills in this match. This Karaji chicken skin, I don't, th I don't think it makes the gun any better, but I just feel like I'm playing better, you know? It's the, it's the beauty of these, of these uh, skins. And if you get a special skin with your weapon, you just automatically feel like you're a more of a pro in a mobile game. And that's huge for somebody like me, who already is not a pro at all. Are we winning though? Let me just see. I don't know if we're winning. Yes, we are. We are very much winning. 78 to 25. And I don't want to say I made a bit of an oopsie, but I did. I did. Uh, I forgot to turn off Do Not Disturb on my phone, and I got a phone call, and it messed up my screen recording. So, I guess we're now jumping into hard point in Shoot House. I'm sorry. I don't know how many kills I got that match. I felt like I did pretty well there. Much better than I would normally do in shipments. So, please... All I ask is if somebody could rewatch the video and count how many times I got a kill, that would be greatly appreciated and let me know. I hope, I hope maybe it's at least 15, maybe up to 20 or something like that. I don't know. I have no idea. It doesn't really matter though. I actually really like this map. This is probably my favorite map in all of Call of Duty, uh, or at least one of my favorite ones. I don't really remember all the different maps that there are in Call of Duty, but it's a really good one and it just, it looks really, really good on wars on mobile so i'm actually happy about that all right here we go use my smg i haven't really used this one enough i think what's my teammate doing hello sir can you please actually do anything else other than snipe people are going to come around the corner and kill you 
You don't really even have any chance to react to something like that. Look at this. Come around the corner, they'll instantly kill you. I have no idea. I don't know what's going on. But it's okay. It's all right. I'm having a lot of fun, and I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. Uh, what I like to do in Warzone Mobile is kind of just mess around a lot of times and not really have a purpose, you know, a, a set goal. Um, because I still am kind of like, you know, getting used to this game and stuff like that, kind of getting familiar. Uh, and yeah. We're actually, I think, on the losing team right now, so I should probably focus a little bit more. We need to focus a little bit more and capture the hard points and kill as many people as possible while we're doing it. Let's do this thing. There's a guy over there. Goodbye. You walked right past me. No idea what you were doing. No, I wanted to get over to the freaking capture point area. <sighs> it's okay. So... What I would like to do in my future Warzone Mobile videos is maybe even some challenges and stuff like that. I feel like it would be a lot of fun for somebody like me, who's who's not necessarily very good at the game. Somebody who's a pro, you know, they do a challenge and then it's not even hard for them, you know. But like, for me, any, any challenge at all, the game itself is already kind of rough for me. <laughs> I'm not very good at it yet, right? So any challenge at all could be a lot of fun. Let's go see. Anybody over here? Can I get these guys? Nope. I definitely cannot because I do not know how to get a kill. I'm going to revive and then instantaneously die when I do that. Probably. <gasps> We're good. Oh, look at you guys. You didn't even know that I was right there. Because why would anybody crouch in the middle of the open? That's what I want to know. I have to say, though, I'm very impressed. I am literally screen recording right now. I have been for a while, and my game is still performing so well, even while I am screen recording. And this was not always the case with Warzone Mobile back in the day. So, I mean, I'm I'm super happy. This is actually getting better, and I feel like pretty soon, you're going to be able to just use your regular screen recorder as your default thing when you want to make like a Warzone Mobile video or something like that. And it's going to be perfectly fine. It'll be the same as every other mobile game. Hi, what are you doing? Going around the corner this way. Can I get this guy? Get him. There we go. Reload. Another person. No chance. No chance to react, man. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, I don't think we're going to go through this entire rest of the match here. I kind of just wanted to test out these weapons a little bit more. In Shoot House. Uh, my favorite one out of the two different ones right now. Shipment and Shoot House. I like Shoot House a lot more than Shipment. I actually performed a lot better in shipment, but, you know, that's just kind of completely random. It depends on how your team is. Looks like the enemy team is a lot better this match here in shoot house, so it's not really, not really that big of a deal. See? Way faster reaction time than me. I, I have no chance. But yeah, uh, that was the Wagyu skin bundle. I wanted to test out this one because it had Karaji as the name, and I like Karaji chicken. I am hungry. Maybe I will get some for dinner tonight after I finish making this video. I don't know if I have time. Probably not, but I want it, so yeah. Um, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please do take a second and leave a like and subscribe for more Warzone Mobile content just like this. I want to make lots of different videos, real casual, just playing in fun matches and testing out different weapons, doing all sorts of different stuff, random things, you know, challenges maybe in the future, all sorts of different Warzone Mobile content. There's so much that you can do in this game. Um, comment down below anything you would like to see me do on Warzone Mobile next. And thank you again to Warzone Mobile for actually sponsoring this video. If you would like to download the game, then you can scan the QR code. It's on the screen now. Make sure to scan it so you can download it. If you can't scan the QR code, you can go at the top of the description and download the game that way. There's a guy over here. Oh my god, I didn't even see him. I don't even know what I was shooting at. Wow. But yeah, you can go at the top of the description... I have a download for the game. And let's go get two more kills. One with this gun. Here we go. There's a guy right there. There's two. Oh, I got double. And then I need to get one with the SMG. One more with the SMG. And then we're going to finish it off that way. All right, here we go. Let's do it. No! Come on, revive. You would not believe how long it's taken for me to get one more kill. Look at the time. Look at the time. And then look at what it was like in the last clip. I've taken so freaking long trying to get one more kill with my SMG and I can't. 
I can't do it. Nobody is letting me get the most. I can't get a single kill with this freaking thing. I'm. I need to get better. How do I get better? Please let me get a kill. No. Why? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get one. I need to get one singular kill. That's it. One. Oh my god. One. Please. No. I I really thought. I thought that was gonna be the one. Here we go. One. Nope. Nope. Somebody else took the kill from me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh my god. We got him. We got him. Yes. I got the guy standing still. All right. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll freaking take it. Hey. Again, thank you to Warzone Mobile for sponsoring. Uh, if you want to download the game, download is at the top of the description. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you all in the next episode.